What's up everybody, it's February 28th, 2023. And look at what we have here, a full tank of gas, but it's not the 91 that I, I put in. They only had 89, but I had to take something, so. Whatever. But anyway, how you guys doing? We are waiting for this next part of this storm to come slamming in here, and there's a, p a potential of two feet more from this next potential part of the storm. <laughs> um, in the next 24 hours is when we could get the heaviest, heaviest, heaviest. So right now it's 1241, 31 degrees. We're just gonna do a, kind of a mixed bag of drives, a little bit through Big Bear Lake and then a little bit through Big Bear City. Some people want me to just drive by the airport. So I'll go do a short video over there. But yeah, hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you guys for the continued support. If you guys enjoy what I do, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. I like to put myself in these situations out here. Um, yeah, it was crazy though. All you guys, first of all, thank you guys. All you guys contacted uh, or tried to to wake me up this morning um, to tell me there's gas at a certain gas station at Valero. And so my wife saw that on the live feed and she contacted me because she's at her mom's in Whittier right now. And she, she contacted me and said, there's news that Valero has gas now and the line is so long, you better get over there. So I got over there and two hours and 45 minutes later I had gas. It was a long line. But yeah, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. I feel really bad for all the snowboarders and skiers who can't get up here to enjoy this. But yeah, I gotta be really conservative with my gas. We're gonna go down a street called Cottage because uh, one of you guys wanted to wanted me to go down Cottage for you. Why not? You know? Why not? I am quite hungry, but we can eat later. I wonder if. Oh, yep, yeah, McDonald's still has food. Yesterday I saw a U.S. food truck up here. C couldn't believe it. Maybe it was like part of the convoy or something, but yeah. And now we, uh, 76 gas station has gas also. While I was at Valero waiting in that two hour and 40 minute line to get gas, people were like walking by my car because some of them recognized me from my regular job too and like hey what's up dude yeah just heard that 76 just got gas and the line's super super long too so we have two gas stations with gas they're not going to have gas much longer you guys i can guarantee you that i can guarantee you that Look at all this snow on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. Wowzes. Wowzes. Here's the storm blowing in. Yeah, don't let this uh, trick you. It's supposed to get pretty damn heavy, you guys. But the one thing I'm glad about with the roads being closed is that I can do these videos and get through them. Here's Nick, the owner of Valera. He's super cool. But look at this line. It's probably still all the way down. Yep, look at that. Still all the way down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's all the way down. Uh, Pine Knot. And then it turns onto Village Drive and goes all the way past Knickerbocker. It's, it's crazy. Okay, I think this is Cottage, but you can't freaking see because this it's been scraped off. Let's see. Yep, this side says Cottage, but you can't tell on the other side because the... The lettering's been scraped off. So one of you guys, Earl, Earl Shive, Earl Shive, wanted me to come by and take a look at these spots. Unfortunately, I don't know how I'm gonna really 
take a look. If I'm not doing this well enough for you, Earl, I'll come back later. I don't know. I don't know which which one of these is yours. Look at this car. I thought it was a snowbank. I was gonna just run into it to get out of the way of this dude. I had a friend who lived here. I don't know if that has anything to do with you, sir. That place has anything to do with you. This would be the last place on Cottage. Let me just check something, you guys. Hang on a second, okay? Hang on. Okay, I figured it out. It's up here on this part of Cottage Lane. I'm telling you guys, this, it, it was crazy. There were a couple people trying to cut in the gas line. I, Me, a few other people jumped out of our cars to make sure that they could not. <laughs> And they're like, but I'm a local. And we're like, dude, you're about to be a hurt local. Get in the get in the line like everyone else. That really, really upset me. It really did. Because all of us had been waiting like an hour and a half at that point. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. This is it. This is it for Mr. Earl. Earl, that's a cool place, man. Let me know if if you ever want to let my wife and I rent it out for us for a couple nights. Great location right in the village. We would love that. I'd be honored. And then I'll do a video of this place for for our channel here so so people can can see it. That's a really cute place, man. Wow, that's really really nice. Uh, look at that. It looks like a fully enclosed gazebo room or maybe there's a, a, a like a jacuzzi in there. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna back up a second. The dude sent me 50 bucks to do this. So I wanna make sure I don't do it lazy. But I am so freaking busy, but I just wanna make sure that I can do a decent job. I I can't get in there. What a cool property, man. What a great property. And let me know, as I said, um, we never ask to stay anywhere for free, so I don't want you to think that. We just want to have the opportunity to stay here. If you can get us a time, usually midweek's the best for us because it saves us money. YouTube channel and my other work do not help enough for me to really enjoy life <laughs> at, at this point. but. Um, it's gratifying every single day knowing I work my butt off towards something. So at least I have that. At least I have that. So cottage, look, look guys, do you see how close Earl's house is to the village here? It's just great. And then wait till you see this line for the gas. Wow, it looks like it, it got smaller finally. I'll show you guys where that UPS truck is up there. It had uh, wrapped around there too. But yeah, it definitely got shorter. I don't know if you can see the UPS truck yet, but on that street that the UPS truck's on right there, the line was way back. And it goes all the way down to the boulevard. I'll, so I'll show you guys right here. So, where all those cars are stopped, right there, headed down, where right about just in front of that UPS truck, that's where it's still backed up all the way to the boulevard just to get gas right there. And 76 station up here is, is blocked as well. And thank goodness we can hop onto the boulevard. Usually I would take this side route straight ahead to avoid all the traffic in Big Bear. But 
there is no traffic in Big Bear right now. Uh, Earl, I didn't expect your place to be that, like, in the village, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Clouds are looking mighty awesome right now. They're looking mighty, mighty. <coughs> and as I said, this other gas station up here on the right-hand side, 76 has gas. Right now we're gonna go as far as the airport and then come back. Those gas pumps were moving so slow, you guys. It, I started at one pump, but then the car in front of me moved. And to be polite to the people back of us, to get everyone going and getting out of there, I stopped the gas, moved up to the front pump, and the front pump was working normally. But every other pump there it was like going one, two, three, four, five, six. It was the slowest I've ever seen it. People were there 15 to 25 minutes just to put gas in their car after they waited two, two and a half hours. So I, I got lucky. I got lucky. so so stressful hang on guys okay sorry about that had to take that phone call now i'm going to put the phone out the window because it's way too hot for my defroster our grocery stores and we're gonna head into the Big Bear City area. And run by the airport. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a bit tough to go by different locations for you guys during these storms. I can do it after the storms and stuff like that. I know a lot of you wanna see what your places look like during the storm. But you gotta forgive me. Like I'm so so busy. I, I have so much going on. Obviously, if I have time, of course I will do that. Of course, you guys. Of course, and especially because I don't want any, anybody worrying about if their roof collapsed or something like that. Like I'm I'm very sympathetic. But YouTube is my side thing. It's it's my this weather stuff is my passion. I have a full-time job, you guys, and, and I, I, I average 60 hours every week. It's just so beautiful, all this snow.
is so beautiful. It's just a beautiful, fresh blanket, untouched. Yeah, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. We're in Big Bear City. We're just crossing into Big Bear City now. Hang on. Okay, we are in Big Bear City. And we're just gonna take a Greenway to just take a quick look at the end of the airport. And then on the way home, just so the video isn't extremely long, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna turn it off for all the backtracking. And we're gonna stop by Sheephorn for one of our friends who's wanted me to check out his place on Sheephorn. Or you know what, I'll do that on the next drive. I gotta get this uploaded, I gotta get my work going. But yeah, thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate you guys helping me out so much. and liking all the videos and just being super, super cool about everything. I really do appreciate that. And I love helping you guys right back. It feels good. Very genuine people on this channel. Shore back to Stanfield cut off so we don't yeah actually no Take a look at the airport the best we can. It's going to be coming up to the left. Alright you guys, we are on McAllister, 
kind of skipped a little bit because we turned around and went back the same way that we just drove on. So I didn't want you guys to be annoyed with that. So now we're on McAllister. We're heading into the back way into Moon Ridge. This is the way I would take when there's a lot of traffic on our main roads, but there's no traffic on the main roads. However, I'm just so used to taking this route anyway. But yeah, once again, guys, we got potentially two feet of snow coming in the next 24 hours. I'm gonna say probably 15 inches will happen, but I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going off of what happens in reality as opposed to the forecasts. And I've been doing this for eight years, never missed a storm. It's a pretty steep little hill right here. This can be dangerous. clouds rolling in they're getting thicker and thicker got to get this uploaded people all over today walking around with snow shovels trying to get work unfortunately not a lot of people are in town so there aren't a lot of people staying at their vacation homes to hire people So I, I heard from a friend of mine already up here because someone didn't have on chains, they slid in to someone who was helping someone else and killed them. If you don't have snow tires, you guys, please, please put on your tire chains. Anyway, we are back on Moon Ridge Road. Hope you guys enjoyed the drive. This is just a short update. When it starts snowing, we will be going back out. Appreciate it. If you guys like what I do, please like and subscribe. Let's grow this thing. Let's do this together. Let's see where we can take this YouTube thing together. Thank you guys. And I will talk to you all later. Peace out.